Morning all. Uh, I've been asked to keep this diary for uh, the next couple of days as to what I'm about to go through. So, uh, as you may or may not know, my brother has leukemia, my younger brother, and uh, therefore I'm going to give my bone marrow to him in four days time. So, the whole process has started this morning with a quick COVID test. So that hopefully will come back negative, which means I can go to the hospital on Monday and actually transplant. So obviously feeling a bit apprehensive as to what's about to go on. Um, I've got four days of injections to do and uh, I'll update you a bit later on with how that goes and, uh, and where we go from there. So yeah, next four or five days, we'll keep this little diary and see what happens. First injections, commence on Thursday of the 8th, two 300s and one 480. That's two 300s, the 480. And what is it you are injection, injecting? We are injecting uh, this stuff, areas for injections. Not there. here, because uh -huh. it's too sensitive, or here, or here. Right. So where? So fatty inside uh -huh. here, or outside of that ring, which is kind of the fatty belly bit. Right. Around around here. Oh no, that's too close. That, that area is not supposed to be no, a bit further. It's good. No, no. So this bit's good. And the side, the fatty bit. Okay. <coughs> Strong alcohol. The needle, but I can pass it. Needle, 45 degrees. Okay. Go. <sighs> What are those? What's in them? The same. Did they say there are some side effects after this? Yeah. Like what? So then we're likely to get headaches, bone pain. Oh, with the ibuprofen, you can take baths and stuff. <laughs> okay. Diary, this is the morning of day four. Uh, just to give you an update. Uh, Day two's injections went okay, uh, but then obviously night of day two, back pains kept me awake, uh, and again yesterday, injections went fine, but then the pain in the back, all the way up my spine, was just bone crushing, so I didn't get much sleep last night, so uh, it's the beginning of day four. We will go up to the Marsden and stay overnight, so I'll talk to you later. Bye. Baby. Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Well, good morning, everybody. This is the morning of the harvest, as they call it. And uh, what a bizarre weather morning we're having. It's snow here in London. So I shall talk to you a bit later on, introduce you to the people who are going to do the harvest uh, for the podcast later.
Thanks, man. Bye. We're waiting for the blood results. Now I can change the blood results. The blood results. Okay. So each each kind of number and things is, is individual to the blood results. Yeah. So I'm going to use the white cell count because we just put an estimate thirty to thirty. Now we got the result back sixty-one. Check this little thing in there. Right. Just to make sure that there's no build up of um particle. Because inside that machine we got this little chamber here. This, cool. this is what we're checking. Yeah. So that is just like kind of normal. Because there's a build up of particle you can easily at the top of that one now. Is that build like, on what's that? Um, it's a particle which is you know the where the stem cells This is the bacteria, that's the middle layer. So that's, that's when where, you're spinning the blood, that's yeah. where it's separated. Once it's separated, plasma at the top, red blood yeah. cells, bacteria, that's where the stem cells are. This is we want to collect. Now, if there's a buildup in there, you can see mm -hmm. it in here. It's meant to say that we're not in the right, um, the right layer. Yeah, in the right layer. So we tend to adjust by putting that up. So it's when those little green marks are on top of the red line and that's when you know you're in the yeah, bucket yeah. coat and then we've got to collect the bucket coat that's yes, all the stem yes. cells. So is that yellow stuff in that bag, that's the stem cell? No, 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 that's your plasma. That's Remember plasma, the that's yellow the top bit? one. Yeah. Yeah. This one here. Oh, yeah. That's plasma there. Sometimes they use it to mix it with your stem cells. So we normally collect 150 yeah, mils. Which we collected easier. already, yeah. Just collected these now, basically. Yeah, because I'm finished at six. Um, so, where's the stem cells then? No, we haven't collected yet because remember, oh. to keep on beeping, that's the oh, interruption. Right, yeah, it's still working. So, out. once the machine started, yeah. it's trying to find the layer. Now, if there's some interruption, then it will lose the layer again, then it will start to the beginning again and finding the layer. That's what we're trying to avoid because okay, it's just like the time is going to be longer. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is now the lines gone up or is that just because you've changed the parameters? You've changed the parameters, yeah. So you guys just really have to... The top three. Okay, <laughs> so this one here, so the, the orange line, that's where the anticoagulant is coming from, yeah? Okay, so it mixes with David's blood here. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you know it, it, it won't stick, you know, the platelets. So yeah. do not stick. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when it, when it, you know, your blood, when it comes out from your body, it starts to, you know, platelets start to stick together because that's not their normal environment. So that's why we sort of anti it, you know, while it's mm. it's coming out from your, you know, while it's flowing out into the, cent into the centrifuge just to make sure there won't be to avoid something sticking together. So that's it, it's over. Um, I've taken my stem cells and they, they reckon that they've got about 8 million. You reckon Josh? That's our calculation, but our calculation is not always right. It can be a little bit higher or it can be lower than that. This is Josh, everybody. He's been looking after me all day long. <laughs> Brilliant bloke. So, um, yeah, this is this is the unit that it all happens in. Uh, and then they'll, they'll um, transfer these to Bob on Wednesday, which is a couple of days' time. And happy days. So, good. Thanks. Bye.